Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and I wanted to give a quick update on the uh, next revision of the pig knob. Um, so after I sent out the first video, I got a lot of feedback, uh, all very good ideas. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't put all of them in, um, but several of them stood out. For example, um, more buttons, and uh, there was one, actually two people said, get rid of the serial ports. And I really liked that idea because... Um, Previously, there were two serial ports on the back and then power coming in here. So you had two thick serial cables coming off the back, which can clutter up the desk. Um, so that's the biggest change in this next revision. I've replaced all the serial ports with this six conductor phone jack, basically. It was RJ12. Um, so it's a, just a regular phone cable now. And the serial ports have been moved to this little board here um, which is nothing but traces and serial ports so power comes in here this goes to the radio and this goes to your computer uh, and all this can hang behind the desk I'm testing it here with a seven foot phone cable so let me get everything plugged in and show you what it looks like oh other updates uh, there's more buttons so I doubled the number of buttons there's now eight six in the front two in the back here and I also increased the um, the processor, so there's a, a bigger microcontroller in there for um, more EEPROM to store settings. So you can have longer macros now. Um, so you can have 100 character macros per button, and uh, you can still set the command that gets sent when you send the um, or when you spin the knob or when you push it to go into fast mode. So I'm gonna get everything hooked up and uh, just show you that it does work. One sec. So this is what it looks like connected. I have power going into the middle, and then uh, this is the connection to the K3 here. And then if I had a computer, it'd be plugged in here. Um, the the proxying between the two serial ports still works. Um, nothing else has changed except I pulled the serial ports out. So uh, let me plug in the actual knob here. So as I spin it, you can see the uh, frequency going up there. Or I can go into fast mode. And I have these buttons configured right now to change bands or modes. So basically anything that's in the K3 programmer's reference can be plugged into one of these buttons. So that's where it stands right now, and um, the uh, the knobs are actually being made right now. The board, um, it's all surface mounting there, so i got to send that out for quote and, uh, and get those made. So that's where it stands right now. Eight buttons, um, an increase from four, and uh, remove the serial ports. Just one single cable coming off the back of it. So yeah, that's it.